Chapter 2 Control Panel Utility Softwares Windows 10 Topics Covered Control Panel Customizing the Taskbar Using the Control Panel Changing the Date and Time Settings Changing the Settings of the Mouse Various Utility Software in Microsoft Windows and Their Features Burning CD Slash DVD in Windows 10 Control Panel in Windows 10, you can use the control panel to view and change the settings of any program in your computer that include changing the appearance of the screen such as customizing the taskbar, uninstalling an application, changing settings of different devices attached to the computer and so on. Opening control panel To open the control panel, follow these steps. Step 1. Click the start button and scroll down to the letter W. Step 2. Click the Windows System folder from the menu and select Control Panel. Control Panel window will be opened. The letter W in the Start menu. Control Panel option in the Start menu. You can see the options in the Control Panel window in three different views. These views can be changed by selecting the desired option from the View by drop down list on the right side of the window. Category View This view is the default view of the control panel window and it shows a list of all the categories containing the various setting options. Each category has a specific purpose. Large Icons View This view shows a complete list of all setting options of the control panel without grouping them into categories. Small Icons View this view also shows the setting options without grouping them in categories except in smaller size. Customizing the taskbar You can use the options of the control panel to change the settings of your taskbar such as locking the taskbar or hiding it from the desktop, etc. To customize the taskbar, follow these steps. Step 1 Open the control panel window in category view and select the appearance and personalization category. Step 2. Click the taskbar and navigation option. The settings window appears with taskbar settings. Step 3. Select and change the desired settings. For example, you can change the position of the taskbar by selecting the required option from the taskbar location on screen drop down menu. You can restrict the movement of the taskbar by toggling the lock the taskbar switch. You can toggle the automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode switch to make the taskbar disappear when not in use and appear only when you take the cursor to its position. Cybertech bits. You can also change the settings of the taskbar by right-clicking on the taskbar and select the taskbar settings option from the shortcut menu that appears. Changing date and time To check the current date and time, you can look at the extreme right corner of the taskbar. If required, you can also change the date and time using control panel. To do so, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the control panel window. Step 2. Select the clock and region category. Step 3. Click the date and time option. The date and time dialog box appears. Step 4. Click the change date and time button. The date and time settings dialog box appears. To change the date, select the day. Month and year in the date section. To change the time, click inside the text box in the time section. Now, either type or use arrows to change the hour, minutes, and seconds. Step 5 Click OK to close the date and time settings dialog box and again to close the date and time dialog box. The date and time will be changed accordingly. Changing the mouse settings. The control panel can also be used to change the settings of the mouse connected to a computer. You can either interchange the functions of the left and right mouse buttons, change the speed of the mouse pointer, change the speed of double-clicking or change the look of the mouse pointer.
To change the mouse settings, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the control panel window in the category view and select the hardware and sound category. The hardware and sound window appears. Step 2. Click the mouse under the devices and printers option. The mouse properties dialog box appears with buttons as the active tab. To reverse the functions of the left and right mouse button, select the switch primary and secondary buttons checkbox in the button configuration section. To change the speed of the mouse pointer, move the speed slider towards slow or fast in the double click speed section. To drag the mouse without holding down the mouse button select the turn on click lock checkbox in the click lock section. Step 3. Click apply to apply the settings and then click ok to close the dialog box. To change the shape of the mouse pointer, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the pointers tab in the mouse properties dialog box. This tab consists of different pointers in the customized list box. Step 2. Select the desired pointer type from the customized list box and click the browse button. The browse dialog box will appear which displays different types of pointers. Step 3. Select the pointer shape you want and click the open button. You will see the new pointer shape replaces the original pointer shape in the box next to scheme section. Step 4. Click the apply button to apply the changes and then click OK to close the dialog box. Cyber bits. To change the mouse pointer back to its default shape, you can click the use default button in the mouse properties dialog box. Uninstalling a program. Sometimes. You do not want to keep an application any longer. So, you can remove the same in the control panel. Removing an application from the computer is known as uninstalling. To uninstall an application, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the control panel window in the category view. Step 2. Select the uninstall a program option under the programs category. The Programs and Features window appears. Programs and Features window. Step 3. Select the application program you want to uninstall and select the uninstall option from the organized bar in the window. Step 4. Confirm the uninstalling of the program by clicking the Yes option. Confirming uninstalling. Utility Programs. A program that performs specific tasks in order to manage a system resource is known as a utility program. An operating system such as Windows 10 contains a number of utility programs for managing disk drivers, printers, and other devices. For example, antivirus programs, file management programs and backup programs. Some of the utility programs are explained below in detail. Network Utility A network utility program is designed to examine and organize various features of a computer network. You can use it to check the speed and performance of a computer network. File Manager A file manager utility program helps to organize files and folders in an ordered manner. You can view, edit, Copy, rename and delete the files using the file manager software. Disk Manager A disk management utility program is designed to allow the user to view and manage disk drivers installed on a computer. Defragmentation When a computer lots memory for the data on a hard drive, it does so in blocks and when files and folders split between these blocks far from each other, fragmentation occurs. This is the reason why sometimes a hard drive takes longer time to read a file as they are assessed from far away blocks. Defragmentation puts these blocks back in sequential order so that the hard drive head does not have to run around multiple blocks to read a single file. It reduces the time to read files from and write files onto the disk. To defragment a disk using the disk defragmenter utility in Windows 10. Follow the steps given below. 
Step 1. Open the control panel window. Step 2. Select the Administrative Tools option from the list under the System and Security option. The Administrative Tools window appears. Step 3. Double-click the Defragment and Optimize Devices tool. Step 4. Select the disk drive you want to defragment and click the Optimize option. Windows. Will analyze the disks for fragmentation and start the defragmentation process begins. Disk Cleanup The Disk Cleanup utility is designed to enable the user to delete unnecessary files from a hard disk in their computer. To perform a disk cleanup to a disk in your computer, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Open the control panel window. Step 2. Select the Administrative Tools option from the list under the System and Security option. The Administrative Tools window appears. Step 3. Double-click the Disk Cleanup tool. The Disk Cleanup, Drive Selection dialog box appears. Step 4. Select the drive and click OK. The Disk Cleanup for, Selected Drive, dialog box appears. Step 5. Select the files you want to delete and click OK. Another prompt appears asking you if you want to permanently delete the files. Step 6. Click the Delete Files option, if desirable, or click the Cancel button. Hey files will be permanently deleted. File Compressor A file compression utility is software which is used to compress or decompress files. For example, when a large image file is created, such software can be used to convert the large sized image file into smaller ones. WinZip, 7-Zip and WinDRAR are example of file compression utilities. WinZip WinDRAR